Good morning. My name is Isaac Santos. I'm from Brazil. I have been here at Wynwood for about 70 years. Oh, I'm married, we have three kids, and that's the picture of our family. Wynwood has been a very special place for us. That we, we have been very blessed to be here. And at Wynwood we can see something some things happening that you wouldn't see anywhere in the world. A few months ago we had a 94 years old lady applying for a job here. And guess what? She got the job and she's doing it very well. Her name is Jean. But I'm here to share about our testimony, how God is leading us back to Brazil. But before I want to read the Revelation 18, verse 1 and 2. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lighted with his glory. And the, he cried mightily with a strong voice. We know that the, those verse, verses, they, they are the loud cry message. Okay, the last warning message to the whole world that it has to be done just be before the second come of Jesus. And we know who are going to do that. The last saints alive. That we, if you believe that we are the last generation, we know that we are supposed to, do, to give that message. But we, we can see something very interesting here, that before even the angel open his mouth, what happens? The earth was filled with his glory. And that is something very interesting. We, I remember when Jesus was here in the earth, when he, he would go toward a city to preach, to speak, and to, to say the words of salvation, before he even opened his mouth and started to speak what he would do first. He would heal the people. Yeah, this, that was the magical missionary work. Ellen White is the sixth testimony to the church in the page 293 says, God designs that the magical missionary work shall prepare the way for the presentation of the saving truth for this time, the proclamation of the third angel's message. Okay, then the medical missionary work has to prepare the way. Then, once we care about the people, once we do for them what Jesus wanna do for them, heal, heal their disease, then they are gonna be very willing and eager to hear what we have to say. And then after we can preach about the, the mark of the beast, about the Sabbath, but first we have the what to care and to love the people. In Ellen White in 1888, material in the page uh, 1751, she says, I know that medical missionary work is the gospel in practice. And as the Lord has declared, is never, never to be separated from the gospel ministry. If you were as closely connected with Christ as were his disciples, God could work through us to heal many who are suffering. Then we can see here very clear that the Lord wants us to be a medical missionary workers to go and to love the people, to practice the gospel before we preach the gospel. But the Lord not just tell us what to do, He also tell us how we should do it. And He tells us in Evangelism, in page 77, seek those property in rural, rural district, easy access, Fit for a small training school for workers and also 
that should have enough space to treat the sick and those property we should get through donna donation of the owners or even we should buy with a reasonable price from donation of our people then we do you believe if you don't seek those property do you believe that god is going to send the people knocking on, on our door to donate that property do you believe that god would do that would send those people yeah it did happen in june 2014 sonia miranda she went to the conference in belo horizonte city down in brazil and she wanted to donate the property to be a lifestyle center and that is the property they that property has 16 bedrooms is over 21,000 square foot property is a very huge property away in the country and she went there to she told the pastor that she want an affiliation with the conference to run a assisted living home but the pastor he had so many projects in his hand he couldn't take another one and then he decided that he wouldn't take that project but before he tells that to Sonia Miranda he went to talk to Ceziani Ceziani is a, a Adventist lady that was there in the conference in a meeting and then after he talked to her he told her I have to go and give a bad news for a couple that is waiting for me in my office then but he didn't know that Ceziani was praying the night before and crying to the Lord that the Lord would open the door that she would be able to do some evangelism and that she could be able to help somebody to know better about the Lord and then when he told that he wouldn't help these people to to run a assisted living home then Ceziani said that she heard the Holy Spirit impressing her mind and saying didn't you ask something to do for me go and help these people and then a few days later she met with those the couple that couple in that property and then the couple showed all around the property that is the front view of the property then the dining room here is another picture from the dining room here we can see the overview the scenery and that is the hallway and, and the, there is all rooms around the property 16 total the parking lot after the the couple showed all the property to her to see and they told her and that is what we are donating to you she, then she realized that they were stepping back until then she was thinking that they need some money or some work but then she felt impressed to tell them that it was supposed to be a lifestyle center not a assisted living home but the lady the lady that was donating the property she got donated money to build a assisted living home and she said no it has to be assisted living home but then at the end they got an agreeing agreement that they would open a lifestyle center to to have enough money to run the assisted living home and they got their agreement that they could keep just about five elderly people there and the rest of the property would be a lifestyle center and then that property is located in the north of Belo Horizonte is inside of a national park and those are the waterfalls that you can see in that property that they are gorgeous that waterfalls come people from all over the world to that uh, waterfalls is a very beautiful place 
Then it says, yeah, she got in touch with me and she asked me to come and help her. When I was back in Africa, seven and a half years ago, before I came here to Wildwood, before I came here to Wildwood, um, I thought I was the right person, in the right place, at the right time. Because I had a nursing degree, I had already experience, I had a master degree, and now I didn't have any debt. Then I thought that is the right time. And I am in the right place, Africa. Everybody in Africa, everywhere need a missionary. And I was there willing to help, to work for nothing. And then I went in many places and no place accepted me as a, mission, a volunteer missionary. And then that was a humbling experience when I got in a very simple hospital and they said, no, you cannot work here. I saw my proud being thrown on the, on the dust because God will not do for me what I couldn't do for myself. But then when I allowed God to do that, few days later, in a marvelous way, God sent us to Wildwood. I remember in September 20th, I was with a bird in my heart. If God was leading us back to Brazil or not. And then that day, I prayed to the Lord, Lord, please let us know if you are leaders or if I am doing that by myself, I'm taking the decision by myself. And then after one night with a little sleep and a lot of prayer, I got an email. And that email was from a friend from Brazil. He read something and he felt impressed to send to me. And that email was saying, many are still tested as was Abraham. They do not hear the voice of God speaking directly from heaven. But he calls them by the teaching of his words and the event of his providence. Patriarch and Prophet, page 126. After that, I was sure that the Lord was leading us back to Brazil. The same way that he used through one email, he brought us here to Wild. Now, through one email, he is leading us back to Brazil. We, we have seen in a marvelous way how God has been leading that project. Many miracles, even some people, they had dream with the Adventists there in the area. And the lady that had the dream, she thought that the Lord was impressed with her. And she said that we can use her house for living for free. And, but we still have a lot of challenges. We need to buy the furniture to start the lifestyle center and also we have to buy all the equipment to hydrotherapy to kitchen and also for teaching we we need around twenty thousand dollars for that if the lord started your heart that you may be able to help it to buy maybe a bed you can donate money for anything if you need a deductible receipt, you can get in touch with us. We are going to send you one, okay? We have nothing to fear the future unless we forget the way that the Lord has led us so far. May God bless you. Amen.